All right, let's now try to help you understand how to compute the text. It's part of what you're required to do for lab number two. It's a very useful notion to you, for you to know how to split your income up to three uh, parts in order to calculate the, uh, the text. Uh, I'm going to assume you already read the instructions. Uh, I'm just going to highlight uh, the points directly. So for we actually got two cases over here. So one is about single filer, and they actually got two cutoff points. This and also this. We got second case will be married filer. They also got two cases, this and also this. Okay, the two cutoff points. Let me just also note them over here in the table. You can think about the first one cutoff point is this number over here. And also the second cutoff point is actually over here. And now for the second case for the married filer, the first one is exactly over here. You can see kind of relative, right? You can see this kind of symmetric. Of between the two cases and also the second cut of points over here all right let's now try to visualize uh, these uh, cut of points for both cases they will be handled in a very similar way first of all let's talk about a uh, single case I'll just put single over here okay I'll put single case which means we got uh, these two cut of points let me just put it down over here so one is uh, 8350 and the second one is 33,950, all right? And then what about the case for uh, married, married case, right? Let me put it here at the bottom. And then these are the two cutoff points. So the first one is uh, 16,700. And the second cutoff point is 67,900. Okay, you only have to deal with one case at a time. You don't have to worry about, for example, like how this number is relative to this number over here, right? They're complete independence. So the way you handle single and handle married will be independence, but they're kind of similar. Okay, that's the, uh, the insight. Let's now see some example over here. The first example will be, let's consider some single filer, right? We can have Jim over here, and then his income is this. And then now we need to know which uh, case we should really consider is a single filer over here, right? So now you want to see how this number over here is comparing to the single filer, the two cutoff points over here. Apparently, this is strictly larger than the second cutoff points, right? You can see that, right? So let's put it there, somewhere around here, 186,476, right? That's exactly the number over here. So now we want to know exactly how much we have to text uh, Jim, okay? Conceptually, this is the idea. Think about, first of all, let's now highlight the line over here. You can think about this part over here is the income for Jim. This is the income, right? And then in order to calculate exactly the income sh uh, tax should be, we want to think about how many parts we should really split it, okay? So now you can see because the income already exceeds, uh, exceeds uh, the second cut of points. So which means we're going to split that into three parts. So the first part will be just from zero until the first cut of points. And the second part will be from the first cut of points until the second cut of points. And then the third part will be from the uh, second cut of point to the income itself, right? Let me now try to uh, be more precise over here. So we're just going to say the first part is going to be from basically from here to here, to uh, 800, uh, 8,350. And the second part, the green one, is gonna be from here to here, all right? And then the third part is going to be from the second cutoff point to the current income. You can see we got a yellow, we got a green, and also we got a uh, orange. You can think about these three parts are the three splits for the entire income for Jim. And each part over here is going to be taxed differently. So you can see, for example, uh, over here, the first part will be tax for 10%. The second part will be tax for 15%. And the third part will be tax for 25%. Okay, for this one here, let's uh, see very quickly. So how, uh, how large is the first part over here? How large is the first part over here? The first part apparently is only 8,350. 8,350 multiply by 10%. This will be the text 
uh, Jim should play uh, for part of uh, the first split of his income. And the second part is going to be starting from here to here. Okay, you can see this, right? It's going to be from this to this, right? So now what, what would that be? Well, basically you're going to see how large the green part is. So it's going to be the second cut of points over here minus the first cut of points, right? You can see exactly uh, visually what's happening over here. And that one there is going to be tax for 15%. All right. Finally, what about the orange part? The orange part is really from uh, the, sec the second cut of points to the income for Jim. So that would be Jim's income 186,476 minus the second cut of points 33,950 and this will be 25 percent all right and then you're gonna add them up together and then you'll get a result right you can do the math all right so that's about the uh first case and the way you do the second case will be very uh do, to do the mary uh Mary filer will be very important. Okay, let me just talk about it very quickly and then I'll talk about some special case together with you and then you can extrapolate the information for the rest. We also talk about another example over here. We talk about Jonathan over here, second example, married filer, meaning that we're going to consider this column over here for the cutoff points, but the calculation will be very similar. And uh, who has income over here, all right? Let's first of all see where this income is, right? So you can see 33,500. It is strictly smaller than the second cut of points. Agree? In that case, it would be around over here. Right? Around here. 33,500, right? It's, strictly, it's basically between the first and the second cut of points, right? So now how do we split the income? Before we do that, let me just visualize again for you. You can see this part over here is really the income for uh, Jonathan over here, this part over here. And now, how many parts can we split it into? Different from the case of Jim, you can see for Jim's case, it already exceeds uh, the second cut of point. That's why we can split it into first part, second part, and also, sorry, let me draw a little bit better. So exceeds the uh, second cut of point. So the first part, the second part, and also the third part over here. So now what about the case for Jonathan? It actually hasn't really reached the second cut of points. So that means only two parts to be split. So here, this will be the first part and this will be the second part, all right? Let's now visualize that and then I'll, I'll write down the formula you should really uh, look at, okay? So now the first part will be simply this. You can see from zero to the first cut of points, right? That's the first part, the yellow. And the second part, the green, will be from uh, the first cut of point until the second cut of points over here, right? You can see exactly, uh, you can you can see exactly the uh, uh, range over here. For example, for the second part, right? You can see the, the number definition. For that one, I need, uh, you you will need to read it. All right, let's now very quickly uh, write it down uh, about what how much Jonathan has to pay for his text. So now for the first part, it's going to be uh, this. And remember, the first part also is going to be 10%. Uh, Let me just use different colors so for you to see. So for the first part over here, it's going to be also 10%, right? You can see the 10% is going to apply to the first uh, range. So that would be 60, uh, 16,700 multiplied by 10%. That'll be the first part. What about the second part? The second part is going to be how large the green split is. It's going to be from the first cut of points to uh, Jonathan's income. So you will be so his income is thirty three thousand and five hundred minus sixteen thousand and seven hundred. Right. So that'll be how large the green split is, and then multiply by. So now for the green split, it's going to be uh fifteen percent, right? For this part here, right? So it's going to be fifteen percent, and this part here is ten percent just to remind you over here. So that'll be to multiply 15%. Of course, a quick reminder, if you want to uh, represent, for example, 15% is simply uh, equivalent to 0 0.15, right? That's something you know very well from the high school. And then gotta add them up together. All right, so that's about a very quick illustration about how you can calculate the uh, income text uh, based on how much the income can be split to. So in general, it can be uh, split up to uh, three parts at most 
It can be one part, it can be two parts, or it can be three parts. We already talked about two examples where it can be either split to uh, three parts over here. We talked about the case where it can be split into two parts. Can you imagine in what cases can you uh, under what circumstance can you can the income only be split to only one part? It would be, for example, I mean, uh, just uh, uh, point that to you very quickly uh, visually. If somehow, let's say, for the married uh, taxpayer, if their income is only strictly below let's say, or just equal to uh, the first cutoff point. In that case, they can only be split into just one part over here. And there'll be no uh, second split, of course, right? Just to mention that uh, quickly. All right, so hopefully this illustration will help. And then off you go. You can now look into the G-Unit tests uh, that are given to you for your lab number two, and then apply this conceptual understanding and try to do some exercises on the paper. I think that this notion of paying income tax into uh, by splitting them into different parts might be some new idea to you, but it's kind of interesting. All right, so off you go and do your work.